right, guess what's happening? Gas is going through the roof again. Seems like every three, four, five years we get this whole gas thing that's happening. And it's supposed to be four, maybe five dollars a gallon by summertime. I can't take it anymore. A few years ago, I put together my own hydrogen fuel cell. I kind of went to Bed Bath & Beyond and got a couple of these uh, spun aluminum beakers, made one inside of another here. My wife thought I was a nut. She's like, hydrogen? Isn't that stuff they made a bomb out of during World War II? I'm like, yeah, that's the stuff. It's been around for years. This is nothing new. I didn't invent anything here. I did a little research on it, and I found out that for some small pennies, you could make yourself your own hydrogen fuel cell. So I got myself this 83 Mustang. In 83, they put a V6 in these cars that had aluminum heads, aluminum intake man manifolds, aluminized exhaust system. Now, for you guys that were paying attention in class in high school, the byproduct of hydrogen is what? Water. And the problem with that is that too much hydrogen in an engine like one of these things here, like an old engine, means it would rust out the motor, basically rust out the valves and rust out the exhaust system. But this engine here that Ford made with the aluminum intake, the aluminum heads, the aluminized uh, exhaust system, I can run about 20, maybe 25% hydrogen in it. So I made my own experiments, made my own hydrogen fuel cell, I made my own hookup to this thing, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. It's actually a pretty neat thing. Stay tuned. All right, so I made this hydrogen fuel cell. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond with my wife and I go there once in a while with her, what the heck, and I noticed that they had these containers for flour and sugar that are made out of spun aluminum. Perfect, I thought, for making my hydrogen fuel cell because I needed one container to fit slightly inside the other and I could drill some holes into that inner container, isolate it from the outer one, so this way when I sent electricity through it, they weren't touching one another and shorten it out. So making this container, I was able to bolt it in this little 83 Mustang. Let me show you. I bolted the container inside this thing. There's a one tab on one end that's for the positive and one end that's for the negative. So you got two little terminals on there, one for positive, one for negative. You fill it up with distilled water. Distilled water is really clean water. It doesn't have any tannins in it. It's just better for electrolysis. The other thing you're going to want to put in there is just maybe a tablespoon of um, baking soda. Baking soda aids electrolysis. That's the uh, idea behind putting baking soda in the water. You give it a little bit of a stir, and you'll close the lid, but I'm gonna leave the lid open so you can see how this works. Let me turn it on. Now, as soon as you send electricity through this thing, see what's coming up at the top there? What's kind of boiling there? That's hydrogen that's coming to the top there, man. And I tell you what, hydrogen is pretty powerful stuff. You can light the vapors on fire, which is what I'm doing here. And of course, that's what makes an engine run. Pretty neat. Um, so anyways, the idea behind this is I'm going to close this lid, latch it down, and then I got a 3 8 hose that leads to a vacuum source on the engine itself. So this way, when I start the engine, it not only will suck in the outside air, but it'll suck in this hydrogen and it'll offset the amount of liquid gasoline that this engine will use. Let's start her up. So what's going through here now is not only liquid gasoline, but also the hydrogen and the regular air. And the hydrogen will offset the liquid gasoline by about 20%. So I can get roughly 20 to 25% better gas mileage with this thing by running this little fuel cell in here. And I tell you what, with gasoline getting to be four to five dollars a gallon, that's a buck, buck 25 a gallon I could save by using this little fuel cell that cost me maybe $30 to make. It's a lot of fun to make too. What's the drawbacks? Well, the drawbacks is you can't overly hydro uh, put too much hydrogen in your engine because the byproduct, like I say, is water. You're going to rust out your engine. You can't do that. So you're limited there. Uh, the other limitation is in the wintertime, you can run, you know, like a windshield washer solvent in there, a little alcohol in there. That'll keep it from freezing. But for the most part, you can't run the hydrogen fuel cell in the dead of winter. So there are some drawbacks there. That's why it's more of a hybrid than something that you could just run solidly on hydrogen. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing it. I have a lot of fun doing all this stuff I have here. So go on my website, OperationMustang.com. Check out the rest of the series of my shows because I got all sorts of stuff happening there. Everybody just loves to see it.